Brad and Erica, I was just able to connect with him over the phone. He told me that he just bought the building and he has been storing batteries there, but there have been building issues, leaks. And he said he's sure that those building issues somehow led to this fire. Now, something we know from the fire department who's had to fight this fire in a very different way, lithium explodes when it comes in contact with water. Smoke billowing out of the Superior Battery Building, hanging in the air. This is the main concern in Morris right now, as the EPA continues to test and monitor the air quality to decide whether or not people forced to evacuate because of this possible health hazard can come back home. The fire continues to burn more than 24 hours since it started because they can't fight it in a conventional way. There are 80 to 100 tons of batteries in this building, many lithium ion batteries. We're told they were being stored here. And because lithium explodes when it comes in contact with water, they can't use water to fight the flames, smothering them instead. So how did this start? And who was making sure those batteries were stored properly before this happened? We have requests out to the city, state, and feds to try to get those answers. We're a large industrial area. We have a lot of chemical plants. We have a lot of heavy industry here. And, 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 I'm, and I'm people and I'm companies report that to us. We do. We get that yearly from them. Uh, we have not gotten nothing from this, this company. That's what the fire chief here in Morris had to say this morning, with the police chief stepping in this afternoon. We are not doing any additional mandatory evacu evacuations. As again, they continue to work to put the fire out and get people back home safely. They're asking people only to call police in the case of an emergency and for those outside of the evacuation area, but concerned. People need to, to take some responsibility on this themselves. If they are uncomfortable, if they are just unsure and want to be safe, if they are having, feel like they're having some kind of symptoms, they need to make their own decision and be responsible and leave. Now we are bringing you this live update right now from a zone that's still evacuated right now. We were escorted here by fire officials, but take a look, still a really active scene right now. Smoke billowing out of that area as authorities continue to fight this fire tonight. As far as the owner goes, who again, I just talked to on the phone, he said he's feeling hopeless about this and he never meant to harm this community. Reporting live in Morris, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News. Pale on site tonight, core crews just capped a gas leak that forced some seniors to evacuate.